So as far as models go, this is just one of the three different armies that I have and just a sample of some of the terrain that I have. I actually, in some form or another, whether put together or not, I have about 300 plus models that uh, I have accumulated over the five or six years that I've been doing war gaming. Um, I have about, I do collect action figures too, by the way, and I have about 25 or 30 collectibles that I've been holding on to over the years. Uh, um, I still buy them when I can see something awesome on the shelf. Uh, and I also have, um, a gamer score on my Xbox Live account of about 28,000, actually 28,950. And most of the, the big ones are in Bioshock, Fallout, um... Uh, Oblivion, most of the single player uh, titles I actually really build into and usually try to max out on the on the achievements as much as I can on it. So, um, I mentioned that I had four different role-playing games camp on right now. The one that I'm GMing is a World of Darkness campaign, and this is the binder for it. It's called the Dark Age of Los Angeles, and it utilizes the uh, Mage, the Awakening World, the Werewolf, the Forsaken World, Hunter, the Vigil, and Vampire, the Requiem. So I've kind of combined the entire world of darkness into one campaign that I'm playing with all of my friends right now. But I'm also participating in a Dungeons & Dragons 3.0 game. Uh, I also am uh, involved in possibly running an Eclipse Phase game, and um, also Outbreak Undead. So uh, uh, someone had mentioned um, my relationship status, and uh, I did want to mention that I'm recently single. Um, the person who was helping me film is a good friend of mine who is also a gamer, uh, who is my roommate, and who is also my ex-girlfriend. So we're actually on really good terms. Uh, we've been enjoying each other's company uh, since we broke up, and we've still been renting in the same place, and we still game a lot together. So, But I am indeed single and back out on the market. So uh, I, hope, uh, I hope that's everything you need. And, um, I look forward to it. One of the things I should say is, is I'm a big StarCraft II player. I've been playing in amateur tournaments a lot, and um, I'm in the Mold League right now, and I have a pretty good... I think the, my win right now, my win ratio is, uh, is 3 to 1, and I have 465 different wins right now on, on Blizzard.com. So it's... it's <laughs> I love StarCraft. Anyway, the craziest thing I've ever done in the name of Geekdom is I waited in line for episode one for 36 hours, and it came out on my birthday. So I actually had my birthday party in the line for episode one, and it was absolutely awesome. In fact, that was way more fun than the actual movie was. <laughs> you know, we all tried to hype it up to say, oh, it was good, it was good, it was not good. So I will forever remember my episode one birthday party um, where I literally, and oh, I got sunburnt too, by the way, that was the other big thing, is when I was done, I was literally burnt head to toe because I didn't, foolishly didn't put any sunscreen on, so I remembered it for days afterwards, um, but I'm usually, I'm a pre-order type of guy, if I have something I want to get, I will go and pre-order it and make it happen, um, in fact, I have, uh, Skyrim currently pre, pre-ordered for PS3, that is, it's probably going to ruin all of my life as soon as it comes out, so... Elder Scrolls is one of the greatest uh, IPs Bethesda has come out with, period. So, um, yes. Awesome. <laughs> so as far as geek topics and challenges that I would be uh, a winner in, without any doubt, is um, if I were to have a debate on uh, gaming in general, um, pen and paper gaming, uh, war gaming, video gaming, video game developers, video game publishers, um, how to make games, uh, game development... Uh, uh, sci-fi, the singularity, I would be a great topic at. Um, I would also, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, of course, again, it's back to gaming. Um, sci-fi novels, fantasy novels, fantasy fiction, um, Alien, I would be a great topic on. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, there's no man out there who can beat me, man or woman, who would be able to beat me in a d debate or a topic about the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> it's so embedded into my being that I could recite the whole movie by rote um, without even flinching. So, uh, yes, there is cult movies, um, Burt Reynolds, uh, there is um, ElfQuest, could definitely win a debate on ElfQuest without any doubt. 
Uh, so much more. It's everything is just so geeky, and I love it all. 